Now there's something wrong with the background. Can you see it? Well, it's my laundry hanging over there. What are you waiting for? It's not gonna fold by itself. Just joking, let me put it away for this video. Whoa, very clean clothes. Okay, so let's talk about the new vlogging setup. Now I have done a video in the past where I showed you how to vlog with the iPhone 11 Pro Max using a mini tripod and a couple of other accessories. If you haven't seen it, I will leave a link up here for you to check out. Now this time I wanted to see how a setup like this would work as a daily vlogging gimbal. Vlog, 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 vlog. <laughs> vlogging has become very popular nowadays and is a great way to share parts of your life with your audience, making them feel more connected to you. you feel the connection as I come closer? <laughs> yes. This time, instead of using a mini tripod, I used the iPhone 12 Pro Max with the DJI OM4 gimbal and a couple of other accessories. Now to test out this setup, my girlfriend and I visited the ice path in Engadin, which was like a fairy tale to me. This is not America, this is Switzerland, baby. So to give you an idea, I will be showing you how I've set up the iPhone 12 Pro Max with the DJI OM4. We will also be looking at the awesome app called Double Take, which I think is a great app for vloggers. In it, I will also show you the camera settings I used to record these videos. And in the end, I will give you my final thoughts and answer the question if this setup is good enough for mobile vloggers. There will be a timestamp below if you wanna skip or go back to a particular part of the video. With that said, let's get into the video. So I will start off with the setup. I use the iPhone 12 Pro Max as my main vlogging camera. The iPhone 12 Pro Max has great video capabilities that is able to shoot 4K 60 frames per second in 10-bit HDR Dolby Vision. It has four lenses, one at the front and three on the back, which can be very useful for shooting videos from different perspectives, making the video more engaging. The iPhone 12 Pro Max has great optical image stabilization, but sometimes using a gimbal can be very helpful for more complex movements. Especially if you like to capture smooth looking B-roll shots, this can be very useful. I like to use the DJI OM4 gimbal that costs around $169. What I like about it is the magnetic attachment system that allows me to set up my iPhone more efficiently. The gimbal also comes with a tripod, which is very useful to place it on flat surfaces and create shots like these. Pretty cool, right? I also brought the extension pole with me that allows me to create a fake drone shot, which lately has become my favorite camera move. As you can see, the DJI OM4 can be used in many ways as long as you stay creative because here happens everything. The gimbal also has strong motors and a great battery life, which is important, especially if you need to capture the whole day. If I want to, I can also charge my iPhone using the gimbal since shooting videos can drain the battery quickly. Now, in order to mount the different accessories onto my gimbal, I use a ring clamp for around $15. Now, this accessory is very useful since I'm able to expand my vlogging setup. With the ring clamp, I'm able to attach a mini magnetic arm for 10 bucks to create some distance when attaching other accessories. By the way, I will leave links to the product mentioned in the video description below. I then mounted a small light to the magic arm. I'm talking about the VL49 pocket LED light by Ulanzi that costs around $30 and is great if you're filming in low light situations. Now, luckily the weather was great and we had lots of sun, so I didn't have to use the pocket LED light. Throughout this whole day, I didn't really use the light on this one. This is just for, like you could just go with the microphone, uh, but in case it gets dark and you need to light yourself, having an LED light uh, is always useful. But it's still important to have one because there might be situations where you need more light. Instead of increasing the ISO, using an external video light will give you much better results. The pocket LED light comes with three cold shoe mounts. I used one cold shoe mount to attach the Siren T mic dual microphone. It's a shotgun microphone that captures audio from the direction you're pointing it at. The internal mic on the iPhone produces decent audio quality, but if you want to have the best audio quality, investing in an external microphone will give you better results. 
Now here's the difference between using the internal mic versus using the Siren T mic microphone. I'm using the internal mic on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. So this is how it sounds like right now. And if I plug the dual T mic in, now you should be hearing the shotgun mic, which should sound better than the internal mic. Let me know what you guys think. Now what's unique about the dual microphone is that it can record audio from two directions. There is a switch that enables you to record either using one head or two. Here's an example of a conversation using one head and then using both. So we're now gonna test out the Dual T microphone. I currently have one mic on so that you guys can see how it sounds like in a conversation between me and my girlfriend. How did you like the trip so far? It's amazing. We are ice skating uh, in the forest. I never did this mm -hmm. before. Yeah. So let me now show you how it sounds like with both microphones on. So uh, we had a three hour drive, and um, but it was worth it. Totally. <laughs> As you can see, having the option to record in both directions can be very useful, especially if you're having a conversation with someone and when doing vlogs, this is often the case. Now it also comes with two windshield that helps block wind noise. I use a lightning adapter to connect the microphone to my iPhone and once plugged in, you're ready to shoot. All right, let's now talk about the double take app. The Double Take app has been by far my favorite video app for shooting vlogs. The Double Take app is a free app that is currently available only for iOS users. And what this basically does is it allows you to shoot with two different iPhone cameras at the same time. So in the multicam option on the bottom left, you're able to see all four cameras and choose two cameras to shoot at the same time. And these cameras are called A and B cam. In the live viewer on the top right, you can select different shooting modes. The picture profile, also known as PIP, records the video including the small window. This is by far my favorite mode to use. You can move the PIP around the screen, tap, zoom, swipe away if the screen is distracting. This way I can, for example, show the viewers the beauty of the landscape, but also have myself in the frame. This is the view we have currently. Beautiful sunset. It also works if you want to shoot vertically, which is great for posting it on your Instagram stories. The discrete mode records the video as a separate file. So once you've recorded your video, you're able to view both separate files by tapping on the memory card on the top left. This is useful if you want to capture a shot from multiple angles. This can help make your videos more engaging and piece together a better story. Another feature that I like is the split screen mode. In this mode, I'm able to record a split screen that is saved as a single video. This is cool for recording a conversation, for example. Ho, ho. <laughs> Next, I would like to show you my camera settings for recording videos. The Double Take app allows you to shoot in a high bit rate in 1080p, which is the maximum resolution supported. So you won't be able to shoot 4K, but for shooting vlogs, I don't really need 4K. As for the frame rate, I'm able to choose 24, 25, or 30 frames per second. Now, since I live in a PAL region, I have to set my frame rate to 25 frames per second. This creates a more natural looking video. If I'm recording B-roll, I like to use 30 frames per second to slow the footage down just a little bit to make it look smoother. If you want to shoot at a higher frame rate, you will have to select a different video app, such as the standard camera or Filmic Pro. With the Double Take app, I'm able to set and lock focus and exposure on both cameras. On the A cam, I first set an area of interest in the frame. Then I tap to lock or unlock it. I then switch over to the B cam and do the same there. The focus and exposure are now locked on both cameras. And that is great for avoiding exposure shifts in your video. What's also cool is that you can adjust focus and exposure independently on the A cam and B cam while recording. This way I can quickly make changes to set my exposure right. Now, once the video has been recorded, the file will be saved as an H.264 file to the Double Take internal library, which can be exported to the camera roll. Now, is this setup good enough for mobile vloggers? 
I would say yes. Combining the iPhone 12 Pro Max with the DJI OM4, a dual microphone, a pocket LED light, and using the Double Take app makes it a great vlogging camera. It is pretty awesome, and I think for vloggers, this is really a game changer. The Double Take app makes shooting videos really fun and allows me to film creatively that makes a vlog much more interesting to watch. Uh, so tell us about how we climbed on top of that. <laughs> little hill. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I try. The different shooting modes offer so much flexibility that it can be used not only for vlogging but also for other shooting purposes. If you're someone that likes to vlog with an iPhone, then I highly, highly recommend using the Double Take app as this is a game changer when filming mobile content. Also, the dual mic is one of my favorite microphones for vlogging and is something to consider when shooting vlogs. By simply switching on both heads, I can record a conversation and capture good audio quality from both directions. So what was your favorite part about ice skating? Uh, the favorite part is that it's in the forest. Now this minimalistic setup has worked really great for me since it's easy to use, isn't heavy and fulfills my needs for recording vlogs. Now I'm curious, let me know what you think about this setup. And if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe so that I can keep creating awesome tutorials for you guys. Make sure to check out these two videos to learn more. And as always, Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I will see you in the next video.